guys, it's your girl Nutelli and welcome back to a brand new Animal Jam video. So in today's video, I am actually going to be doing something that a lot of you guys wanted me to do and that is a tutorial on how to live stream on Animal Jam. And this time I'm actually talking about how to have a pro and really pretty Animal Jam live stream. So there are many different ways to live stream and a lot of people know about the way to use Hangouts. Google Hangouts and you can't really add any background music or add-ons on the screen or nothing really interesting. It's just a live stream. But today I'm teaching you how to live stream with OBS which is a pretty easy program once you understand how to use it. So first of all you have to go on the OBS website which is obsproject.com slash download. If you can't find this just write OBS download after that, a page like this should appear. You choose if you're Windows, Apple, or Linux. So, well, I am a Windows user and I'm obviously not going to be downloading it right now because I already have it. But you have to click download installer. So, since I'm not actually going to be redoing and like redownloading, I'm going to be showing you an older video from like a year ago. I tell people that I have a video up on how to live stream, but people seem to not find it. So after you download it, this little green bar should appear and should load and load and after that, this little pop-up should appear. Welcome to OBS Studios Setup Wizard. You have to click next. Then I agree. You click next again and then you click install. And as you can see, a green bar appears and it's actually downloading it now. And at the end, this should pop up and finish. It is downloaded. So yeah, OBS is very simple to download. But now I'm actually going to be telling you guys how to use use it. So as you can see my OBS just opened. So yours will appear with a full on black screen. So you go over here in scenes and you click the plus sign and you can name it whatever you want. I'll just have it named scene 2. Once this is open this is what you will see. It will just be a plain black screen. So what you have to do is go to sources, click the plus and then go to display capture. This will capture your screen. As you can see, it's capturing my whole screen and there we go. You click OK and now it is here and you can zoom it in if you want to. So it's just on the Animal Jam screen or you can have it zoomed out fully whatever you prefer. So once you have that, you can simply go download images off the internet. And once you did, you have to click the plus over here. Then you click image. Then you click OK and browse and your files will pop up and you just put the name of the file and the image will pop up. So I just found this little image of a toucan and I'm going to have it pop up and you can zoom it out to make it small and then you can put it around wherever you want and you can maybe like just have it on the side of your screen then if you want to add in text you just click text okay and then type whatever you want so I'll just write hi and I'll actually do it in caps so I can do it in different font then you click select fonts and you have a variety of fonts you can have a strike out or underlined you can have a bold like demi bold italic bold italic you can really choose and if you don't want to have something just click cancel. So also many people ask how I have frame around my border. Overall just how do you have a frame? So I actually didn't make this frame. My friend made it for me. I like told her what I want on it and she made the frame that perfectly matched the screen. As you can see I can move this frame and it's just a regular screen. I just prefer using a frame. I remember when I first joined Animal Jam, nobody used frames and then I started using frames and a lot of people decided to use frames, which I guess is absolutely fine because I do enjoy livestream more with frames. As you can see, it had my username, just overall my name. I added in a subscriber account, which is next what I'm going to teach you guys. So if you want to have a subscriber account, all you have to do is, first of all, copy and paste the link. So I have copied it. Then go back to OBS and click browse source. You click OK and then you put in the link. Once you have done that, just click OK and as you can see, we have a subscriber count. So 
The last step to live streaming is actually connecting it to your channel. All I've been doing right now is decorating it, but the most important thing is to actually connect it to your Animal Jam or whatever channel. So all you have to do is click settings, then you have to go to stream. Once you are at streams, as you can see, there's a little thing that says stream key. In order to actually get your stream key, you have to go to live streaming on your dashboard or on your creator's studio actually and all you have to do is then scroll down to the very bottom and you can reveal your stream key copy it and then paste it in here so now it will be connected to your channel guys make sure to never share your stream key because if someone has your stream key they can live stream on your channel that's not good anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions leave a comment down below i'll probably answer some of you guys questions this has been a very requested video, so I decided to make it. So thank you so much for watching. It would be very appreciated if you can leave a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome content. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next Animal Jam live stream.